How is everybody doing? We're going to take a look at a Fender Lead 2. These guitars were reissued along with the Lead 3 in the spring of 2020. A lot of people are unfamiliar with this type of Fender guitar, but in a nutshell, um, the Lead originally came along in 1979 and it was discontinued around 1982-83. The first lead was um, a single pickup guitar, it had a humbucker in the bridge. Uh, the lead 2 uh, had two single coil pickups and the lead 3 had two humbuckers. They're very unique, uh, they were designed to be a cheaper USA version of the Strat uh, because uh, Asian manufacturers were making superb guitars at the time, especially the Japanese. So uh, yeah, this is really, really cool. I love the green color. Um, it's screaming 80s. <laughs> so yeah, there, there, there's something else really. Let's check it out in closer detail right now. Alder body. Um, it's got different symmetry to a Strat. Um, at first glance, it looks like a kind of an imitation of a Strat by some um, Chinese manufacturer. Uh, they even bootleg these as well, believe it or not. Um, it's in neon green as well, um, and it's 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 it's, just a, it's a cool looking guitar. Um, I already own a Lead Three, which I bought in May 2020, but uh, this was niggling at me for a long time. I wanted a two as well. Yeah, it's just so cool. Um, I've been looking at videos all month on these and decided to pull the trigger. Out of the box, um, the action was very high. Uh, the neck needed a trussing. It was a bit too um, too bold for me. Uh, the pickup height needed to be adjusted slightly and the uh, intonation was way off. Uh, but other than that, it's fine. The strings you get with them. I think they're nines. These feel a bit heavier. I'm not sure why. Um, I haven't changed them yet, but they're terrible. Very, very poor quality. What's unique about the lead? It has the jack plug onto the um, scratch plate. It's just got one tone, one volume, two toggle switches, and two single coil pickups, which are slant. Uh, to get the most out of the tone, I guess. Six um, cast steel saddles and a fixed bridge. So this guitar is a hardtail and I love hardtails. Really, really cool. The switches, uh, pretty simple really. Three-way, neck, bolt, bridge, and then you have a face switch. This only works when the guitar is selecting the two pickups. So you get this kind of a nasal effect. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Cuts through in the mix very, very nicely. Neck has 22 frets and they are medium jumbo. The radius is 9.5. The necks are the same as the Fender Player necks. They're gloss on the fingerboard and matte on the rear. Headstock is the typical Strat headstock with lead two written in there. Uh, the lead three has got three uh, so it's a nice touch and it has the 1970s style Fender uh, stamped tuners, the F stamped tuners with the um, slots to put a string in so there's no fear of cutting your fingers and stuff like that. Truss rod is activated from the top, uh, not on this one. It's smooth, came out of the factory nicely. Cut up and ready for action. Back of the headstock, nice F stamps, I like those tuners, um, MX-19, so this guitar is more or less 2020, that's when they came out. There's a skunk stripe on the back of the neck, it's a modern C uh, by the way, and here's your four bolt clamp with a nice uh, F stamped on it, nice attention to detail, this really looks nice. This is the string through for rules on the back, just like a Telecaster. Dashing. I'm going to be using a Fender Bass Breaker 007 Head and Cab, an orange Rocker Verb 50 
I've been using two amps together at the moment for the last few weeks. By amping, I guess you call it, and I'm addicted to the sound. <laughs> it sounds fantastic, so uh, I make no apologies. I'm not using one amp, I'm going to use the two. Uh, guitar sounds much better like that. Right, uh, this is the clean signal. This is the neck. Uh, by the way, these pickups are Fender Player single coil pickups. I think they're on Eco 5. Uh, they're actually quite nice. I put a set in um, my blue Japanese Strat and they really brought that to life. like I guess if you're going to use it you could also uh, boost your signal and use it for a solo feels quite thin and this is your your bridge strumming for rhythm. Nothing here to get in the way, you know. Right, this is uh, with the Boss Audi one and it's in the bridge. pickups almost hear a flanger or something underneath. This is an egg.
So that's the uh, Fender Lead 2 uh, in neon green, slime green or whatever green you want to call it. Um, it's just a cool guitar. I remember when these came out, um, I never really knew much about them. Um, I never realised that they came out back in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, they're not identical to the USA, there's a few small differences. Um, that's why they're in the player series. Um, but when I saw them, they just remind me of being a teenager inside in the garage, blasting away in the cold um, with a can of Coke and some sweets <laughs> or, or smoking cigarettes or something like that, blasting out really bad uh, cover versions. That's that's what they remind me of. Um, they're 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 uh, they're beautiful guitars. Um, there's the other one. Um, yeah, they're really cool. They're about an inch um, or 25 millimeters smaller than your standard uh, Strat. I think they look incredible. This is a monster. I love this. Um, the um, pickups are great. There's coil taps on this one, but um, you know, I just wanted the green. I wanted the two just to have it, you know, but they're very different. They don't feel the same, you know. <laughs> about it. Um, I think I'll just um, change the strings. The original strings are pretty pretty nasty. Um, just feel a bit, yeah, they don't feel good. Um, I'll stick on some Fender or Daddario strings. Probably the same thing. So that's it yeah. That's the uh, Lead 2. Um, absolutely beautiful. Fit and finish is gorgeous. It's stunning. I can't find any, I can't find any um, faults with it. Um, they're fantastic. Uh, if you're on the fence about one, get one. Um, if you don't like it, you can move it on. But um, I love them. I think they're fantastic. Uh, so that's it. Take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Mm -hmm.